Hi, Lynn. I know you've been coming to Dr. Zigner's office uh, here at Riviera Allergy Medical Center uh, for about a year. Uh, you came in September of 2010. Can you uh, tell us about your experience at Dr. Zigner's office and with her? Absolutely. I'd be very, very happy to do it because um, I, I'm very grateful to Dr. Zigner um, and quite frankly, I feel that I owe my life to her. Um, I was seeing a general practitioner um, at UCLA who um, had convinced me that I, I really uh, didn't need to see other doctors, um, that it was better because I had a number of, of medical issues to kind of focus on her. And I was having uh, some side effects from the cortisone products I was on for my asthma. So she gradually um, uh, weaned me off of them. And I noticed that this was over the summer of 2010. And um, I became um, less and less uh, well and less and less able to lead a normal life. And finally, by the fall, um, I was having really significant gastrointestinal problems and I had no energy whatsoever and that is to do the so-called normal things of life. Go to the store uh, and buy food, prepare food, um, wash my clothes. Basically I just laid around um, on the couch and um, watched you know movies my husband rented from the library for me and that's about it and uh, he did everything else and um, so he suggested that I come to see Dr. Zinkner because she is his allergist and um, and he said well you know I don't know if you need an allergist because I had no so-called asthma symptoms I do have asthma um, but he said, um, you know, she, maybe she could recommend a new, um, I was looking for a new general practitioner. And so when I came here, um, that was my goal, you know, to pay, possibly have her do a once over on me. I didn't think I had any kind of asthma problems because there was no symptoms. Um, my allergies seemed to be fine and I've had allergies my whole life. Um, and, uh, she did the breathing test um, that she had and she I remember she asked me why I was here and I didn't want to exactly say it was you know to get a reference for a general practitioner because I don't really think I need an allergist anymore but um, uh, I told her just I can't remember what I told her but she informed me that my breathing my large and small airways were so constricted, um, shut down, that they were barely able to sustain life. And I mean, I almost fell off my chair. And um, she gave me inhalation. It was they were so severely shut down that um, they that she gave me inhalation therapy before I even left the office. And she gave me a bunch of medications and she saw me a lot. I, th I think at least once a week, maybe more, until I stabilized and I started to open up. But within a day or two, I was able to go to the supermarket for the first time in weeks. And I was able to start preparing meals and um, leading a so-called life, you know, a normal life rather. And uh, I am unemployed. I'm an unemployed secondary uh, school teacher. I'm an English teacher. And I had wanted to get a job, but that was totally out of, it was fortunate I didn't have one because I couldn't have, I couldn't have um, possibly held down a job at that point. And uh, so I really wanted to say that this whole fall since September, I'm still looking for work, and I and I have found some some good sub jobs. Um, I I've been thinking of Dr. Zigner because I really feel, in a very real sense, that I owe my life to her. That um, I don't know what would have happened to me, and I I did ask her today because it's it's been a little over a year since I've seen her, and today's like a general checkup. But I said, you know, could I have died? And um, 
she had told me once that if you if your lungs if your uh, airways get shut down too much they become scarred and they never go back. Mine went back so that my breathing is normal now with the medications and and I'm on not a lot of medications you know but uh, and and she sees me every once in a while now just to make sure everything is still on the up and up but um, it is and uh, I'm leading leading a full life and I'm. You know, the disappointments I have are, you know, when I go for a job interview and I don't get the job. But, I mean, in the back of my mind, there's this um, realization that, you know, without her intervention, I, I don't know where I would, I hate to think of where I, I would have been. Um, it may have been worse than just laying around on the couch all day. And uh, so I am very grateful. Um, I, I owe Dr. Zigner a lot. I mean, um, I think what I had was life-threatening and she has told me today that if I had had a really bad asthma attack at that point where my numbers were, my I was so shut down, my small and large airways, that it could have been the end. And uh, fortunately I didn't, but um, uh, now I'm, you know, I, I have two sub-jobs um, and I actually have a third job that I'm starting after school and um, with tutoring and uh, so um, I'm leading a full life and uh, as I said I, I really believe that um, I know that I owe that to Dr. Zigner. Um, my mom always said when you have your health you have your wealth and uh, that's uh, the way I feel and, and I do owe it to Dr. Zigner who was on the ball that gave me the right tests caught what was going on and um, and fixed it and uh, so here I am today able to lead a normal life.